The majority of Americans agree the United States immigration policy is broken. But with midterm elections this fall, few politicians want to address the issue. California Representative Jeff Denham is proposing a path to resident status through joining the U.S. military. Communication coordinator for Lupe, John Michael Torres, says many here in the Rio Grande Valley are ready and willing to serve. There are dreamers that right now, if they were able to sign up for the military, that they would be there uh, to sign up. While a vote on the proposal, known as the Enlist Act, was struck down on Friday, advocates are now aiming to tack it onto the defense authorization measure that the House will consider in May. While many politicians in Washington don't want to take up immigration reform, Torres is hopeful. We have a small chance of, of passing something in these four months. And it's going to take all of us uh, to you know, get together to, to work to, towards that, to call on the, the House Republican leadership to uh, take action to move forward with immigration policy. Recent reports point to a drastic increase in illegal crossings here in South Texas. Proof Torres says there's an urgent need for immigration reform. What is essential to providing a safe way for people to come into the United States and to alleviate the type of uh, illegal crossing that's happening here in the Rio Grande Valley is an immigration reform that provides the safe legal means of, of entering the United States. Torres argues simply adding more Border Patrol agents won't solve the problem. It's going to become more, da more dangerous to cross. Uh, it's going to, I mean, we're going to see uh, increased amount of deaths on this part of the border as well.